What is going on world? Today we're here to talk about that Makey 25 millimeter center lens and do I recommend this lens? I ended up picking up this lens for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which we're recording with right now with the 25 millimeter lens. So for those of you guys that don't wanna watch this whole thing, short, quick answer, I highly recommend this lens. For those of you guys that still wanna stick around, thank you. So this is a full metal housing lens. Um, the build quality is, it feels good, it's, it's, it's amazing. The manual rings are made out of metal. Um, it's not no plastic or nothing like that. With that being said, keep in mind, this is a manual lens. There's no autofocus. Uh, if you're using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, I don't recommend you using autofocus anyways. All right, so let's talk about the weight of this lens. Um, it is pretty heavy. Uh, it feels good though. Um, I would say it's roughly over a pound. Uh, so for those of you that use lighter lenses, this might be like, oh, Yo, this is pretty heavy. All right, so Makey currently has the 25 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and the 12 millimeter for pre-order, um, but I do know that they're gonna end up coming out with more options. So if you do stick with these lenses, it's gonna be perfect because um, the follow focus rings will never move. Um, it'll all be aligned, so you won't have to be moving your follow focus back and forth. And also the filter size. So this is a 77 millimeter uh, filter thread. Um, so if you're using, you know, variable ND filters or polarizers, um, you know, then pretty much you just stick with one. Although I do recommend um, getting bigger diameters if you have different lenses and use the step-up rings. So keep in mind that this is a micro four thirds. That's why I'm using it on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Um, I know I could have gotten a speed booster and added different lenses, but the speed booster cost half of what the camera cost so I figured why not give uh, MFT a shot and I'm pretty happy with this lens uh, keep in mind you got to do some math um, so right now we're using the 25 millimeter which is uh, I believe it's equivalent to 50 millimeter um, I could be wrong my math sucks but um, correct me if I'm wrong so when using these lenses for your pocket 4k keep that in mind um, it's not gonna be the exact focal length that it displays on the box because it is a micro four thirds. Wide open, um, you do have a great depth of field, um, got some nice bokeh to it. Um, the only thing that I did notice about this lens, um, I think I've only noticed it once and it was in a very highly bright area. There was a little bit of chromatic aberration, not a deal breaker for me as you can kind of fix this in post. Um, so it does say it's multi-coated. Um, do I recommend this lens? Hell yeah. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace.